Hi, I'm Avi, a Canadian Jewess who came to Israel on a birthright trip. If you recognize this opener, you're already familiar with Avi Does the Holy Land a vlog about Israel, Israelis, and those caught in between. With me in studio now is the vlogger herself, and before we hear from her, let's take a look at a timely segment from her most recent post. Hello there, Avi here. And today, I'm going to tell you a list of important life hacks that will help you prepare for Passover. Die, die, enu, enu, die, die, enu, enu. How to treat Passover as a seven-day gluten-free detox cleanse. Turn your setter wine droplets into plate art. How to do a perfect matzah manicure. The secret to rigging the Afikomen search. May the odds be ever in your favor. How to handle those pesky blood libel accusations in your non-Jewish book club. My insider... Avi, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me. I'm more excited than on my bat mitzvah. This it, is amazing. It's a pleasure to have you, and I'm sure we're going to all enjoy this interview. But first, I want to talk to you about the segment we just saw. Yes. Life hacks for Seder. Is yes. this something you find you need? Life hacks for life in Israel? Oh, definitely life in Israel, but definitely the Seder, because, you know, 5,000 years of suffering, you know, I'm trying to give you the hackable way of, of not suffering through your Seder. So who is the vlog for, would you say? Is it for birth? writers I think it's for it's for anybody that's interested in Israel like really you know Israel is losing the PR war in the world like Israel has a terrible image in the world there's been some terrible PR fails you know you've got the Gaza wars you've got the Sarah Netanyahu dress you've got summary executions of Palestinian stabbers you know you've got the Shimon Peres nip slip like things have just been <laughs> awful so so I'm really trying to raise Israel's image so really it's it's a vlog to try to get the Israel haters out there to shut the H up well, I love that you mentioned the Gaza war and then Sarah Netanyahu's dress in the same breath. I, too, think they were equally horrible. But I, um, I want to talk to you about this PR thing. Do you think this could be Israel's next PR treasure? Vlogs by people who talk about their experience in Israel in the most relatable way. Totally, totally. Like I-24 News. Like, you guys are like the Jewish Al Jazeera. And I'm like the Jewish Queen Rania of Jordan. You know what I mean? Like, beautiful eloquent and um, like loved by all like that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to I raise Israel's image I know she's gorgeous so that's really what I'm trying to do with this with this vlog is just to get all those Israel haters especially the leftists out there there's a lot of leftists out there they need to shut up or be put into camps for re-education and you need to love Israel and embrace it with all of your heart because if not you're an anti-semite well camps I think is a very controversial world here word here in our uh, parts of Israel let's let's be careful with that one okay. but tell <laughs> me what <laughs> what does Avi do when she's not doing the Holy Land um no I'm pretty much just doing the Holy Land the whole time yeah that's pretty I mean I sometimes day, every day yeah I mean it's you know I gotta get my stories like sometimes I teach English um, but that's pretty much it. I work at a shake shop like occasionally um, but generally I'm just I'm just making this happen and living off my bat mitzvah money still to this day to this day it was a lot I got a lot of money from that's, my bat mitzvah that's amazing now I uh, the part that we showed from the setter uh, video was a pretty you know safe PG part, but some of the videos are kind of controversial. Did you ever post something that you later regretted? No. Like, I'm like Kim Kardashian. You know, haters are gonna hate, okay? And I don't care because I'm being me and I'm gonna be real. So, Kim yeah. Kardashian, Queen Rania, some yeah. very interesting female yeah. uh, heroines that you have in mind. Totally. And no, and I, I really honestly feel like I'm like the Iron Dome, the Kipat Barzell of news, really. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, that's copyright me. Nobody else can use that. What about Golda Meir? Oh, totally. Golda Meir, hardcore, like, feisty, butch dyke woman, amazing. Like, I have so much respect for her. She was the first female prime minister around the world, I'm pretty sure. Tell me about the post that you most enjoyed or the one that got the most outrageous comments, one that really stood oh, out wow, for you. That's a good question. Probably my um, birthright experience. Like my, so People often ask me, like, what is your favorite experience from birthright? And like most people, it's when I'm, I think I was on Har's a team or Har Sofim or one of those Har's, like the mountains in Jerusalem, like looking out over Jerusalem. And then my tour guide, Madrich, played the opening from The Lion King, you know, and he just was like, oh. You know, and was like, this is your land. 
It was a huge moment for it you. It was like life altering so much so that I decided to pack up my bags and come to Israel, the land of milk and honey. Well, we for one here at I24 News, and I'm sure we're not the only ones, are very happy that you decided to do this. There's many more questions that aren't very PG that I'd like to ask you. I'll do that after the show. For shizzy. But totally. thank you for Thanks doing for the Holy Thanks for having land. me. Thank you for and doing I24 single, News like, today. Let's talk. Let's do it. Let's, let's talk. do it, Avi. Thank you very much <laughs> thank for you. this today. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> the Daily Beat is done for today. We'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place, from the Jaffa Port here on I-24 News. Join us then. The I-24 News Desk with the hour's top headlines is next. Stay tuned.